Hey there, this is Wedge. It's been a long, long time since I posted a video on YouTube, but I recently discovered this game, Insurgency Sandstorm, and it's really been impressing me. I've really been enjoying it, and more than that, it's giving me legitimate America's Army vibes. But if you played America's Army back in the day, and especially if you kind of missed that style of gameplay, do not sleep on Insurgency Sandstorm, because it is very, it's going to feel very familiar to you. Uh, as it did to me. And, you know, I've been looking for a game like this for a long time. Uh, last year I bought both Squad and Hell Let Loose, and I think I only have something like 22 hours in both of those games combined, where I'm already over 80 hours in this just this game alone. Uh, so it's becoming a bit of a crack addiction. Core mechanics of the game, like how much control you have over your character and even the movement itself, and then the level of detail in the character models and the weapon models, uh, even right down to how the weapons work and how much damage they do, that's all classic America's Army. And I would even say that this game does some of the things that America's Army was doing back in the day, but even better because uh, America's Army was a bit of a, an acquired taste and while I love the control you had over the character, the movement was borderline laggy and just not very responsive. But in Insurgency, the movement is smooth and responsive and definitely a highlight of the game. This game also has a lot more blood and gore, but the death animations or the ragdoll physics, if you want to call it that, are really good and when you do kill people it does look really cool and really convincing. Now I just want to show this one uh, teammate got killed on my left here, and how could that be more realistic? It looks like something out of Band of Brothers, honestly. Now I don't know if there really needs to be that much blood, but I'm not complaining either. But what all that blood does, uh, especially at distance, is helps you to register your kills because quite often the scoreboard will hide them and uh, it is a game where a lot of the time you just don't know if you've actually killed the enemy or just wounded them. I probably also mention that I am really, really terrible, but I never feel like the game is actually cheating me. I feel like it's me that's the problem, and that's a good thing. There also doesn't seem to be a lot about the game that hinders your ability to kill the enemy. Like, I think when you're sprinting, you can't shoot, or if you're jumping off of something, or jumping in general, you can't shoot. But other than that, you can play the game fairly quickly, and there's been instances where I am playing well, and I've actually surprised myself um, with how quickly you can actually take out an enemy. Um, so, 
I think America's Army was a little more stingy with what you could get away with, but you can play this game uh, fairly fast and it will reward you for, for skill. So yeah, I'll randomly get a kill like that and then two thirds of the time I'll actually be playing like this. Another thing that reminds me of America's Army is just how fast you die and the actual fear of getting shot because there is a genuine fear of getting shot in this game and that that's what brings me back to that America's Army feel. You really have to use cover. You can't just run out in the open. You've got to use cover and tactics and have a perception of what's going on around you. So yeah, this game is really fucking hard and I think the difficulty level is what kind of makes it addicting for me. Um, but if I just showed clips of me dying completely out of nowhere, this video would be like 10 hours long. But because you die so fast, it's also genuinely awesome to get shot at and not get hit. It's what makes the game exciting. I mean, just look at some of these clips where I take cover and miraculously take little or no damage. So the time to kill is very short and just to clarify I don't always prefer that when I play something like Call of Duty I definitely don't like the realism servers I actually prefer just the stock game uh, and that's because if you're playing something like Call of Duty where it's more an arcadey feel and the weapon recoil isn't very realistic I don't think it makes the game better to have a low TTK but in a game like this where you've got realistic movement and sort of realistic recoil as well, I do think that low TTK fits the game. So you do die pretty quickly, but uh, that doesn't mean you can't take damage or, or get wounded and survive. Here I get shot twice and actually manage to survive. In this clip I get into it with another sniper and we actually hit each other, but either my bullet is more accurate or is a higher caliber and I end up getting the kill. This game also has working doors and they do play an integral part of the gameplay. There's different ways to open them and you can even kick them down. It's kind of neat how the gun doesn't stick through the wall here as well. But this game has just tons of little details like that that uh, make it great. Uh, in particular the weapons uh, and how they have like stage reloads and just everything is done more or less correctly um, where it's kind of half-assed in a lot of other games. I also really like how you can shoot people through glass and that might seem silly to say but I don't know how many countless games I've played in the past where you can't do that. You actually have to break the glass before you can use the window. And 
and as you can see here, you can also shoot through walls quite effectively. Another thing I hate in a lot of other games is when you take cover from a grenade and the cover just doesn't work and the, the grenade ends up killing you anyway. Uh, one thing I do find annoying though is uh, shooting while you're on the ground. Uh, in this clip I'm actually on like a 3 or 4 kill streak defending C objective and then I end up going prone uh, and because I strafed while I was on the ground uh, my character just stops shooting while I'm strafing so it actually cancelled out my uh, my trigger and then I ended up dying uh, so I find that kind of annoying and then I will say that sometimes when I'm sniping with like the M24 and any kind of little movement it kind of tends to make the scope co kind of buggy. Uh, I didn't notice that early on when I first started playing, but sometimes the scope will go blurry or it'll kind of, you know, shake. Uh, so that's kind of annoying as well. Now as a sniper who prefers to use bolt action weapons, no scoping in close quarters just has to work and it's amazing how many games where you'll be almost point blank or a meter away from a, an opponent and you'll shoot and the bullet will just go randomly off or around him somehow and uh, it's kind of ridiculous. Now, unlike America's Army, this game doesn't have an artificial crosshair on your screen, so you're pretty much no scoping or hip firing with all of the weapons if you're not looking down the iron sights or in a scope. And this next kill illustrates uh, just what's possible with the hip fire with the M16. Thank you. 
I also really like the weapon selection and the fact that there's an M1 Garand in the game for really no other reason other than the fact that it's fucking awesome uh, and really fun to use. You could just walk around and pretend you're in a World War II game and, you know, never desire another weapon. Um, like, I could play with just the M1 Garand, like, from now on. It's that good. Uh, when you're looking down the iron sights, it has a little bit of a weight to it and a sway, kind of indicating that the weapon is heavy. And then you can use it uh, in close quarters. And it's a about as lethal as an M1 Garand would really be, I think, in real life. Um, and uh, it's just awesome. I'm not going to get into all the weapons that are in the game in this video, but there is also a fair amount of overlap with guns that were in America's Army. Machine guns like the SAW or uh, M249 and the RPK are also hilariously awesome. They're difficult to use uh, and implement because of the amount of recoil, uh, like they're only effective in certain situations. Now there are just so many things in this game that work correctly that don't work as well in other games. Now in this clip, watch how I go up to the windowsill and my gun instantly starts pivoting on the windowsill. And then not only that, but how quickly I can just pull away and look at the guy to my left. So that's sort of my take on Insurgency and uh, in fact, just prior to me releasing this video, they released uh, a new update uh, with a new map that seems well received by the community and it also features a uh, revolver and a desert eagle. So definitely check this out if you liked America's Army. Uh, I'm not saying that this is going to replace what we had with America's Army. It was very unique, a very unique type of game. Uh, there was a lot of camaraderie uh, amongst your teammates and stuff. I don't know if this game is ever going to replace uh, something like America's Army for me, but definitely check it out for the gameplay style alone because it's very similar uh, and it should take you back to that, uh, that kind of combat at least. Uh, I mean, hell, even a couple weeks ago, uh, they put on a 15-day event where it was sniper rifles only, and it was the Mosin Nagant versus the M24, and anybody that's played America's Army with, uh, you know, on a server with an admin that was fooling around would do sniper rifles only, and it was those exact guns. Uh, so 50, for 15 days, you got to play uh, basically America's Army-style sniper rifle battle. Uh, and, you know, the most recent one, I think, event was Night Missions, where it was, like, all the masks were dark, and uh, you could use night vision goggles. Uh, that was pretty cool as well. I sucked at it horribly. Uh, mostly, I just tried to fool around in the dark without the night vision, which was a huge mistake, um, but fun nonetheless. And there's also a co-op mode, which is completely different. It's its own thing. Uh, I've only tried it twice, uh, and both times I had fun with that as well. Not as competitive, it's a little more chill. Um, just shooting the AI, they're kind of dumb, but uh, definitely good practice uh, also. So that's pretty much it for this video. I could have got a lot more in detail on the game and even the new update that just came out, but uh, this is just an overall recommendation uh, of the game if you played America's Army and uh, anyone else who's into like realistic combat, 
uh, type games. Um, maybe something that's a little faster paced than Arma or Squad or Hell Let Loose. Because uh, this game definitely is more leaning towards action uh, and faster paced gameplay. Uh, so check it out, enjoy it, and let me know what you think. Thanks a lot.